Hi everyone and welcome to DIY Mummy's Minute, making budget-friendly crafts. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now plug in your glue guns and let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to make three DIY Easter wreaths that are easy and budget-friendly. So for wreath number one, you're going to need a roll of burlap. You're also going to need two bags of Easter eggs. These ones were purchased at Michael's for buy one, get one free. And then you're going to need a bag of this shredded paper, also purchased at Michael's. And make sure you use your coupon. You're going to need a wire base, and this is a 14-inch wire base that I got at Dollarama. So the first step in creating this wreath is wrapping that wire base in your burlap. If you don't have burlap, you can also use ribbon, and you're going to secure it using your hot glue gun. The next step is applying your Easter eggs onto your wreath base and you're just going to apply them using some hot glue. These Easter eggs are purchased from Michael's Craft Store and right now their Easter decor is buy one get one free. They had a variety of different colors that you could choose from. I picked the pastel with the speckled brown on them. So when you're applying them you want to apply them onto the front part of the wreath and you're going to go all the way around the face of the wreath. So this particular bag of Easter eggs came in two different sizes, a larger and a smaller one. And all I'm doing is just applying them with my hot glue gun in no particular order. I'm not following any pattern here. And you'll just continue to add your Easter eggs until both bags of Easter eggs are used up. And again, this is a 14 inch wreath. Once you have all your Easter eggs in place, you can then go ahead and add your shredded paper. So I'm not gonna lie, this part was a little bit messy, but it was well worth it for the end product. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the shredded paper and hot glue it into all of the areas that you can still see the burlap. So I went ahead and went all the way around the middle part of the reef, and then I did the outer part of the reef, and then I put some in between the Easter eggs because you do not want to see any of the burlap when you're finished. So once you have all your shredded paper in place, you can then go ahead and start trimming. So you want to take a good pair of scissors and you can start in the middle part of the reef and you're just going to trim all the pieces of paper that are hanging down. You also want to remove all the loose pieces that aren't connected. So you want to do this in the middle of the reef and then you want to go ahead and trim on the outer part of the reef. So because I'm using the crinkled shredded paper, I wouldn't use this reef outside. However, if you did want to make it outdoor friendly, instead of using the paper, you could use the plastic, the same stuff that they use in Easter baskets. So just to finish off this gorgeous reef, we're going to add a ribbon at the top and just tie it in a knot. And this is going to be how we hang our reef. And we have our finished product. So in less than three minutes, we have a gorgeous Easter reef. Moving on to reef number two, you're going to need a grapevine reef. You're also going to need some moss. This was purchased at Dollarama for $1.25. And again, you're going to need some Easter eggs, and these are from Michael's as well, just a different color, and then some pretty Easter ribbon. So the first thing you want to do is place your Easter eggs. So these Easter eggs are only going to go on the inside bottom part of your grapevine reef, and you want to set them upwards because at the end, this reef is going to look like a basket holding some Easter eggs. So you're going to secure your Easter eggs using some hot glue, and again, you want to put most of them pointing upward because the bottom is going to be the bottom of your Easter basket. Again, color doesn't matter. It all goes by preference. I'm going to use all four colors in mine. And I'm going to place them so there's two rows at the bottom of this grapevine wreath. So I finished with using eight of the same size Easter eggs. And once those are all in place, you can then go ahead and take your moss and you're going to secure it using hot glue all the way around these eggs. And it's going to give the illusion that the eggs are sitting in a nest. So you want to place the moss in the front and on the sides of the eggs as well. And this is what the finished product will look like. And to finish off this wreath, we're going to add a pretty bow at the very top. You can add any type of bow you wish. I'm going to go with the classic bow. It's nice and easy. And I'm going to make my tails fairly long. So all you're going to do is just cross over over the two halves of your ribbon and then you're going to pull that loop down and then I'm taking a zip tie and I'm just securing the ribbon in the middle to create that bow 
And then you can go ahead and take a smaller piece of the ribbon and wrap it around the twist tie so you can no longer see it. And I'm just securing it with some hot glue and you have the perfect classic bow. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step bow tutorial, I do have one on my YouTube channel. I'll post the link in the description box of this video. And to attach this bow, I'm just going to use the twist ties I used to create it and twist it through the grapevine at the very top. We can then go ahead and trim the tails of our ribbon and we're left with the cutest ever Easter nest for our front door decor. Moving on to reef number three, we're going to create an Easter bunny holding a basket full of tulips. I found something similar at Winners, although I didn't want to pay the price, so I figured I'm going to make it out of Dollarama supplies. So I got this Easter bunny reef for $4, and then you're going to need a basket, something that looks similar to the bunny that you've chosen. Um, I will be using some paint because I want to make the basket a little bit darker. So let's go ahead and create this reef. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and prep the basket and the bunny so I'm going to remove the plastic from the basket and then you want to remove all the decorations from the bunny itself the next step is you want to attach the basket to the bunny so to do this I'm just going to place the bunny on the back side of the basket and I'm going to use two zip ties just weeding them through the basket and around the bunny to attach them both so this is what it will look like when you have your bunny base attached to the basket you're going to want to go ahead and cut the access twist ties off and then you have your base to go ahead and start decorating. So I first went ahead and started painting the basket because I wanted it the same shade as the bunny. And I just used black and brown, both from Dollarama, mixed them and then sponged it on to the front of the basket. And this is just acrylic paint that I'm using. Once your basket is dry, you can then go ahead and take some floral foam. You'll need to cut it to size to fit the bottom of your basket, and then you can secure it using some hot glue. Once your floral foam is in place, you can then go ahead and decorate your basket. So I'm going to be using these tulips that were purchased at Michael's. They're the smaller tulips, and I'm using two bunches. One is the cream color and the other is a pink color. So you wanna take your wire cutters and cut off each stem, and then you wanna push up the greenery because it really gives it a good effect, and it adds some green to the floral as well. So then you can just go ahead and place all of your stems into your floral green and you're going to be left with this basket full of tulips for your bunny. So to finish off my Easter decor I'm going to take three heads of the tulips and I'm going to hot glue them to one of the ears or the the bottom of the ear to make it look like she has some flower in her hair or a little hair piece on the bunny. And the last step to finishing off this Easter decor piece is we're going to add some ribbon. So I'm just going to use the same white ribbon we used with the first wreath and I'm creating a pom-pom bow here, um, securing it with a twist tie again. And again, check out my YouTube video on how to create my simple bows. I'll post it in the description box below. So I'm going to secure this bow onto the neck part of the bunny, just using the twist tie I used to create the bow. Once the bow is attached, you can then go ahead and fluff out your loop and you have a finished product. And there you go. You can use this as a wreath and hang it on your front door or it could be a decoration anywhere in your household. It turned out so cute and I even like it better than the one I seen at Winners. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it inspires you. Please like and subscribe for more DIY fun. Happy Easter!